Hello there. So, in this episode, um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I've had some some good friends talk to me about my some of my videos, and they said uh, a couple pointers. One, uh, angles like this, no good. You don't want to do that. Um, uh, and and also just like, look at the camera, and that's good. Um, use your regular accent. Don't use the that other the other one. Um, what else? Oh, yes, and don't drive and make videos. That has to be worse than texting. Um, so, uh, taking taking their advice, heeding it, um, uh, we'll move on to today's uh, Bible um, passage. So, um, I, I was worried about the light in here, and it's not really that good. But, again, not, I'm not trying to make awesome videos here. Just discuss what... Uh, what's on my mind and, and some of the things that I've highlighted. If, if it looks like I keep like looking away, um, it's because I'm actually looking at the screen to make sure that I'm uh, in focus and like, like it looks okay. So we'll be all right. Um, so Exodus, Exodus 4, 11. That is what I will be looking at talking about today. And I will read it to you. This is in regards to uh, Moses saying, hey, I'm not eloquent of speech. You don't want to send me to Pharaoh. Uh, I can't talk. You know, and God's response is something like this. Um, who gave a mouth to a man? Or who makes a person mute? Or deaf? Or seeing? Or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Which, um, th- this is this is one of those passages that just kind of you know, it brings out it, it brings out who who God is. I mean, He's taking full responsibility of how we're created, um, whether whatever, however we're made. Um, I, I don't want to say if you have problems because everybody has problems. We have different personalities. We have different um, tastes, and and God knows all these things. He's make He's made all of us different. And so, uh, I guess what I found interesting was the fact that. Um, that he takes full responsibility. He doesn't blame it. A lot of us were like, well, that's the devil. Yeah, it's a cursed world. That's why this happens. But he's saying, I did that. I made that person that way. And we can see that in the New Testament when uh, Jesus' disciples ask him. You know, they're looking at this guy and they're saying, hey, who who made him this way? You know, was it, did he sin? Did his parents sin? No, he was made that way for this time, for this moment, right now. And then... uh you know, he healed him. He got up and walked. And so I think a lot of times we look at circumstance and we try to figure out the whys. And again, those why questions are just ridiculous because it's just like this endless cycle of um, nothingness. Because you can't know. You really can't know. So it's just speculation. So stop the speculating. Don't worry about it. But do know that God causes things to happen. And we don't have to understand the why, but we do need to understand it's him. And that's Exodus 4.11. He's telling Moses... I made you a stutterer, okay? You're telling me how you are? You know? Come on, I made you. Isn't that great? Moses is like, maybe you don't understand. See, I have this this stuttering issue. I can't speak very well. God's like, really? Tell me more. Go ahead. No, he says, who, who are you talking to? I made you, Moses. And he made you too. So um, that, that basically takes away like every excuse possible. God made us, then, uh, and then he, he will prepare us in his way, and we're made this way for a reason, and so we don't necessarily need to ask the why, but um, just know it's 